From a little boy in Poplarville, Mississippi, I've traveled all over the world. I've been lucky enough to play golf with presidents, kings of countries, all kind of business people. The game itself has afforded me that opportunity. I didn't set out as a kid and go, I'm going to be a professional golfer. It was not even remotely considered. 30 years later, here we are. Golf's a very lonely sport. It's you against the golf course. That's it. That's how you're judged. When you get down, you, your mannerisms change. My mannerisms change. One of the things that I wish I could change about myself was the ability to accept change. You're not just going to all of a sudden be, you know, number one at what you do. You have to work at it. You're going to have failures. And your failures don't define you. You got to be persistent at what you do. You got to keep going and going and going. You know, I will reflect back on an outdoor activity, fishing, hunting. That way you can get back into as close to into the zone as you can get to be able to perform your skills in the next show. God's created a beautiful planet here. People just don't get away from concrete and lights long enough to look at it. You know, you're out fishing and you look at that water and it just, it's just a calmness of, of being out. And when you're with your friends, you, you can laugh and joke and be yourself. You don't have to, you don't have to try to be somebody you're not. Once you get to be my age, Taking care of your game, that really comes second nature to trying to take care of your body. The biggest key to playing golf competitively and being at a high level is you gotta be healthy because golf itself is a very unnatural move for the human body and the back really doesn't like it very much. Trust me. You ask most golfers and everybody plays hurt. There will be only 30% of the time that you wake up in the morning and you go out and you just feel great. Previously, you know, to alleviate the pain, everybody takes Advil. And I was up to taking 50 a week. I wish I would have found the CBD oils years ago when I was younger, still playing on tour. I don't think I would have the aches and pains I have now. My joints and, and especially my back, I'm convinced, would be a lot better. I think that speaks volumes.